First and 10 of the 19-yard line, a red zone opportunity to try to finish the job for the Bears offense. Here's Jordan Howard, left of the 10. Howard, five, turns up field. He is in. Jordan Howard had a clear sail into the end zone with a game winner. 19 yards, a fade to black moment at Soldier Field. When I was younger, he used to take me out of my football practice, all my games, things like that. We had like a hill, so he used to sit up at the top of the hill and he would uh, watch from up there. Then we just always be talking about football. I wanted to make it and stuff. We always be watching football together. Oh, we're just pretty close. He's like my best friend. When Jordan Howard was 12 years old, his father, Reginald Howard, passed away from pulmonary fibrosis. Since seventh grade, Jordan has worn a t-shirt of his father's image to honor the man they called Doc. It's a lot dingy, uh, it feels a lot thinner, uh, so you can tell it's uh, been through some things. It just gives me uh, a lot of energy, a lot of power. I know that he's still there with me uh, when I put the shirt on. I mean, it kind of happened suddenly, because I remember I know he was just always sick and stuff, but then he got pneumonia, and that kind of, uh, what did it, it kind of like took him out. Jordan found ways to keep the memory of his father alive like a birthday card that once resided in his locker and the shirt that has stood the test of time. Jordan's mother, Flora, had the shirt made for his seventh grade season. I remember like right before my first seventh grade game, we were about to play and she brought it to me. I wore it in uh, my jersey uh, every game that we would play. The shirt has weathered a lot in Jordan's young career. It survived his first collegiate program, UAB, being shut down due to financial concerns. I just didn't uh, understand how they could just do that to a bunch of uh, guys who were trying to get the education and playing football and stuff like that. Uh, it was a lot of people's dreams and they uh, took that away. The t-shirt made it to Indiana, where Howard caught the eye of NFL scouts. And it was there when Howard made the Bears roster as a fifth round pick, hoping for a break into the starting lineup. That opportunity came in week three of 2016. There's Howard downhill, head of steam 30, 35 40. A huge, huge run. I always play with a chip on my shoulder every game I go out there. I feel like I'm the underdog, but I also feel like I'm the best player on the field. Damn. He hit that hole though. Howard gained 111 yards in relief of injured starter Jeremy Langford. When he got his opportunity, he took full advantage of it. And he, he's a big, physical guy. He's got great vision. When Jordan Howard saw the goal line, he lowered his shoulder with no denial. On the third string at the start of the season, Howard seized the starting job and gained the trust and admiration of his teammates. Yeah! Hey, great cut! Hey, great cut! You went on me? Yeah, keep it up. My dog! <laughs> what I tell you, dog? I love you, dog! Hey, let's get you in the crib, dog! Howard ran for over 1,000 yards in his next 11 starts and entered the final week with a chance to top a list of impressive Bears rookie runners. The impressive rookie, over 1,000 yards and getting close to the all-time rookie rushing record. Yeah, I knew, definitely knew the running back tradition. I had a Walter Payton book when I was younger, so definitely knew about him and Gail Sayers, and then Thomas Jones, Matt Forte, a lot of those guys. Second down and six. And they give it now to Howard, and he's going to get that rookie record and a lot more as he charges his way into Viking territory. 1,254 yards surpassing Matt Forte's 2008 input on 76 fewer carries. A Pro Bowl bid would follow. Both achievements Reginald would have been proud to witness. I think about how uh, he was out there with me, uh, giving me the strength and power uh, to do what I did that day. This season, Howard continues to honor the memory of his father and earn his place among Chicago's great backs. He does break a tackle and gets to the corner to the 20, 25, 30. There goes Jordan Howard to midfield. Jordan Howard sneaks out of the pile and gets a big chunk of change. 
Jordan Howard. He's a fine young man and dropped football at UAB, lost his dad as a young kid, kept grinding, kept playing, and here he is. Good for him.